jealous. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, jealous? Huh? What's wrong? Huh? Oh. Where are you going? You jealous? Huh? You jealous, the old key cat? Hmm? So a lot of you all have been wanting a follow-up on the bathroom sink. The little sink I found in the barn. And I sprayed it with the uh, Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. Well, let's go take a look. And here we go. And let's just say it has not worked out well. I've had a couple issues with this stuff. One, say if I've got greasy hands, I've been working on something like a golf cart or a mower or a tractor or something. I wash my hands in here and it, it stains pretty bad. And the only way that I can get it to come off is to use something abrasive like uh, this Comet stuff is what I've been using. Um, the peeling and stuff started happening probably, I don't know, maybe three months after I had done this. And it just seems like it doesn't react well to hand soap because a lot of times I would take my soap and I set it up here and it would bubble and pop off. I think the reason that it, it does that, because I didn't prime the surface. I just sprayed it on top of stainless steel. I should have used maybe a self-etching primer or something else before I, I put down the Rust-Oleum. Now, if I remember right, I don't think the instructions said to prime the surface. So let's look. Okay, here are the instructions and see if I can't bring it in. It says priming is not recommended. Okay, but it does say not intended for continuous water submersion or for surfaces that when heated exceed 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 to 3 degrees Celsius. Priming is not recommended and spraying in very windy dust conditions, yada, 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 yada. So, I followed the instructions. It says priming, not recommended. But I think I probably should have. And you can get a self-etching primer like at an auto parts store. Uh, you might be able to pick it up at Lowe's or the Home Depot. You just don't never know. So, this is the result of using Rust-Oleum's Appliance Epoxy on a small sink. Now, I I'm going to say probably things like, you know, you brush your teeth like toothpaste you know, your mouth rinse or whatever, the soap, uh, just shaving cream, anything that can be put in a sink probably wore it out a little bit. You see a lot of it starting to peel around the, the drain and where I had my soap, and it comes off pretty easy. I mean, if I take my finger, I mean, I can scratch it. There's one time I had a pretty decent little piece come off down here. I just grabbed it and pulled it. So there you go. So, would I recommend Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy? Yes. Would I also recommend that if you've got like a stainless steel sink or anything metal to go ahead and put a self-etching primer on it? Yes. I don't think it's, I don't think this is a bad product. I just think, you know, you got to prepare your surface. And I should have known better, even though it told me I didn't have to. But, what, if you don't know what a self-etching primer is... You spray self-etching primer onto bare metal before you paint it because that actually gives the metal or it actually gives the paint something to grab onto. The primer acts as that, that glue between the metal and the paint, I guess you could say. And you can get self-etching primer for like four or five bucks. You don't have to get really expensive stuff. So there you go, folks. That is my review, my follow-up review to the Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. And here are my results got comments leave them below check out my other links in the description and i appreciate it see you guys later